let us check out how we can figure out what operating system is our target running just by scanning it with Nmap. In Nmap, this feature is quite popular, as they have a database of thousands of known operating system fingerprints that they compare with the host that you scan in order to find out what operating system is it running. But for this to work, a target machine must have at least one port open and one port closed, which we need not to worry about since our Metasploitable has both open and closed ports. However, it could not work for some other targets. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to try to scan my Metasploitable, which is running Linux, and then I will try to scan my Windows 7 virtual machine that I got right here, and I will try to scan my Windows 10 host machine. And let us see what results can we get. Let's see whether Nmap can figure out what operating systems are they running. If I go back to my Cal Linux, and let's go with Metasploitable first. To run the operating system feature, we must use sudo, and after Nmap we specify dash "-o", for discovery of operating system. Then we specify the IP address, and if I specify the IP address of my Metasploitable first, press enter, type in my password. It will take just a few seconds, and down in the results we can see the OS testing. It tells us right here that Metasploitable is running Linux. And down here in the OS details, it tells us which version exactly is it running and how many hops is the target distance from us. It says 1, which means host is inside of our network. And besides all of this, it also tells us that the machine that we are scanning is a virtual machine, as we can see right here. It managed to figure this out by the MAC address that Metasploitable has, since VirtualBox machines have MAC addresses that start the same. And these are these three first numbers. This is really interesting because it can sometimes help us to realize that our target is an actual virtual machine and not a physical machine, which could possibly indicate that if we're scanning a honeypot, which is usually a purposely vulnerable virtual environment that is used to lure in hackers in order to find out whether they're being attacked. This is because usually an attacker will go for the most vulnerable machine first and that's how they catch him. That vulnerable machine could possibly be put there on purpose. So for our Metasploitable we got the correct result, it tells us that it is running Linux, which is correct. Down here it even tells us which version of Linux is it running. And we can also see right here by the MAC address that this is a virtual machine. So we got a lot of useful results for Metasploitable. Let's try with my Windows 10 physical machine. So if I type sudo nmap dash o and to scan my physical machine I must check the IP address inside of my command prompt. If I type ipconfig it will tell me that my IP address is 192.168.1.7 let us type it in 192.168.1.7 and run this scan it should also take just a few seconds. Once again you can check at what percentage is it at by pressing the upper arrow key and it is currently 81% done so let's just wait for the remaining few seconds to finish. And it will tell me right here that it didn't manage to discover OS details. Now why is that? Well because we can see right here all thousand scanned ports are either closed or filtered. And remember to discover an operating system we need at least one open port and one closed port. In this case, there is really nothing that we can do to discover operating system with Nmap, since all ports seem to be filtered. Let's try the same of Windows 7 virtual machine. I know for a fact that the Windows 7 virtual machine has one port open, so let's see whether it will manage to figure out the operating system on that machine. If I type sudo nmap o, and I already typed ipconfig in my Windows 7, the IP address is 192.168.1.14. Let's specify it right here. Let's wait for this to finish. And it gives us a bunch of OS details. Up here we have a warning that says results may be unreliable because we could not find at least one open port and one closed port. 
It did manage to however find one open port, which is this port 445, but all the other ports are filtered. However, based on this one open port, it tried to guess what operating system it has, and it was relatively close. It managed to guess that the operating system is Windows, and sometimes this could be enough for us. We can see right here it specified Windows 7, which is correct, but it also specified Windows Vista and Windows 2008, which are incorrect guesses. Hmm, so we can say that it managed to narrow it down for us, but it didn't really hit the correct one. So we checked how to figure out what operating system is the target running. We noticed that it doesn't always work, but this information with the information which we will get in the next video will be more than enough for us to be able to conduct a vulnerability analysis. Let us see in the next video how to get exact version of services running on open ports.